And on a road like this, that really pays dividends. Oh, come on. Lovely. Because it's light, it's unbelievably agile. It changes direction like a kitten chasing a spider. And because there's no power steering, I can feel far more at the steering wheel. I know what the wheels are doing. It grips fabulously. And it doesn't need a massive engine. It's got 237 brake horsepower. Do you know what? That is enough. More than enough. 0 to 60 takes four and a half seconds. The top speed is 160. And yet, because of the lightness, it'll do 40 miles to the gallon. Drop the window, sample the noise. Crackle on the upshift. Oh, that's great. This little Alpha is growing on me with a speed and ferocity that I've never before encountered. It's just getting under my skin. Because it's not like anything else, you have to live with it. Oh, my God. What? What are you doing here? As you well know, Hammond, we receive thousands of letters every single week from viewers and they all say the same thing. Dear top so-called gear, the Alpha 4C, is it better than a quad bike? Well, I'll clear that one up straight away. Yes, it is, because quad bikes are slow, mm -hmm. ugly, noisy, stupid and incredibly dangerous. Mm -hmm. And I don't mean dangerous like you might fall off, I mean like they want to kill you. Mm -hmm. Everybody I know, pretty much, who's ever tried one, has been killed by it at some point. Yeah, that's as may be. But we need to settle this, so we're going to have a race. Well, we're going to race? Yeah. You on that, presumably? Yeah. Me in that? Yeah. Jeremy's proposal was a race from the top of Lake Como to a hotel terrace at the bottom. I would take the 43-mile lakeside route, whilst he would attempt to go as the crow flies. Good, you're going to be killed and last. And so, at exactly 10.37 a.m., the race began. Here we go. 